First at 10, demolition work on the westbound side here of the Washington Bridge has been stopped less than two weeks after it began. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. State officials say the halt is necessary to preserve legal evidence amid its ongoing legal battle over the bridge breakdown. Kayla Fish joins us with how residents are reacting. Kayla? Well, it's no secret there's been a lot of changes and updates in the bridge breakdown since it began back in December. When we asked people here in East Providence about the Washington Bridge, most of them told us they were happy that demolition work has begun. So when we informed them that that work has now stopped, most were surprised and frustrated. Oh, okay, so I wasn't even aware of that. That's <laughs> ridiculous. That's crazy. Charles Doe lives in Providence and works in East Providence. He found out from us that the demolition work on the westbound Washington Bridge has come to a stop. Where it's been less than a week where they kind of started the demolition, now they already shut it down, so... Where are we going to be a year from now? It's kind of tough. In a joint statement, Governor McKee's administration and the Attorney General's office said engineers for RIDOT, in cooperation with the state's legal team, have reached the point in the demolition of the Washington Bridge where work must be paused to preserve evidence for the legal case. That case, the lawsuit filed earlier this summer against 13 companies that state attorneys say failed to identify and address worsening structural issues with the bridge that ultimately led to its abrupt shutdown last December. That there were probably a lot of people that kind of turned a blind eye to what was really going on with the bridge and then obviously we're all in the situation we are in now. Um, I feel like it's kind of unfortunate for the people that obviously didn't cause the issue though we're having to deal with the repercussions. But some, like Kyle Collins, tell us they're grateful the teardown has stopped, at least for now, saying it's disrupting their lives. Ever since the demolition started, the noise has been kind of an issue. You know, late at night when people are trying to sleep, it's kind of shaking houses and you can hear the jackhammering and stuff. So. You know, it's definitely affecting people. As for when demolition work will resume, well, that wasn't immediately clear. A spokesperson for RIDOT tells us that the demolition work will resume as swiftly as possible while ensuring that important evidence is preserved. In East Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.